Hello and welcome to Encyclopedia Podcastica. I'm Hunter Perrin. And I'm Matt Courtney. Encyclopedia Podcastica is recorded in front of a live studio audience. (laughs) That is our wonderful studio audience today. So Matt. Yeah, Hunter. I bought a truck the other day. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what I can move now? What can you move now? I can move my friend's terrestrial pyroviro hydrosonograph. Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I can't do that in my, my Prius, even though I got like a big one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a big machine. But yeah, uh, yeah it was, uh, I was checking it out the other day and he was uh, letting me use it. And it's really awesome. Cool. So cool. Uh, how about we talk about pyroviral hydrosonography? All right. Let's, uh, should we talk a little bit about the history of... Yeah. Yeah, let's of, get into the history of it. Pyroviral hydrosonography. It was first theorized uh, by the Greeks when elastic... <laughs> when Elasticles wrote about a hypothetical terrestrial pyroviral hydrosonometer that could measure beyond the capabilities of other penetrating measurement machines while some simultaneously allowing the operator to record me- measurements on a rotating boron cylinder suspended in gelatin in a gelatin like substance. It's quite interesting. That's pretty much but, how modern pyroviral hydrosonographs work. Right. Well, the the uh, the first actual machine, that was just theory, right? The first yeah. actual machine would not be produced until around the 1650s. The, the exact date is not really really known. And actually, uh, the inventor is unknown. And under, the, the inventor was in Italy, created the first functional terrestrial pyroviral hydrosonograph at the time had fine enough measurements for uh, or fine enough measurements for the solar use wasn't actually possible so this is just just terrestrial, terrestrial. just terrestrial one okay. yeah uh, because the the apparatus of coiled hot obverse objects obverse objects also known as a bless you oh thank you okay. <laughs> was, uh, was using titanium alloy instead of the element zirconium, uh, as it is in, mo- in modern pyro hydrosonometers. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So moving forward, in, in, by 1886, and as usual, you'll have to help me with some of these names here, but <laughs> Siobhan, oh, <laughs> I assume this is Sullivan, but I don't... <laughs> is that even close? <laughs> no. It's Siobhan O'Sullivan. Siobhan. Siobhan. There's no H in there. It's Siobhan. <laughs> Siobhan. That's how Siobhan is spelled in Gaelic. Oh, well, I okay. I don't know the Gaelic. S-I-O-B-H-A-N. Okay. Siobhan. 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 <laughs> anyway, okay, so Siobhan... obviously Irish. <laughs> <laughs> obviously uh, Irish sono- sonochemist, which, yeah. Uh, so he was working on, he was working with a lunar pyroviro hydrosonograph, uh, when she realized that measurements could be made much more fine if the achu, uh, were duplicated onto the, the back of the machine. So it would just like match them on the, just a whole copy of the, that whole apparatus there. Uh, and use the element, and then, of course, switch to using the element zirconium. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, thus, she invented the apparatus of coiled hot elements, or ache, a chi or ache, just ache. Ache, yeah. yeah. And the two ache configuration is what we still use today, mm. namely the headache and the rear ache. Okay. It's <laughs> a silly name. I don't know why they went, they went with that, you know. <laughs> well, cuz you got two. You got one on right. the head and one on the rear of the machine. So you got the right. headache and the so rear. Right. like a front and a back. They just yeah. went head and, and rear. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it, by 1964, uh pyroviral hydrosonography really came to like practical solar application when a Polish astrochemist <laughs> Uh, Gregors Brzezikiewicz. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even close, am I? No, you're not. No. <laughs> it's Grzegorz Brzezikiewicz. 
Did you? What? Grzegorz. Grzegorz. Brzezinskiewicz. Brzezinskiewicz. No, no, I'm not, I'm not even coming close. Grzegorz. Grzegorz. Brzezinskiewicz. <laughs> what he said? <laughs> wow, that's... I don't know what is with the names today, but yeah. <laughs> so that this the astrochemist invented Grzegorz. <laughs> invented this uh, sonographical intrinsic layered log grow scale with yttrium. 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 Yeah. That was pronounced yttrium, not yttrium. Is it? Uh, I thought it was yttrium. It's fine. Anyways, Does anyone know? Anybody? Is it yttrium or yttrium? What are you talking about? The element? The, the element. Is it yttrium? Okay. I was wrong. Yttrium. It's yttrium. Yeah. Okay. I got one right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, you're one for three. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Sonographical <laughs> intrinsic layered lagro scale with yttrium, also known as silly. Silly. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So we got the solar version uh, working now. Uh, but, mm-hmm. you know, the modern uh, solar pyroviral hydrosonographs have been digitized, which is important, making everything digital. Mm-hmm. And they're very precise, uh, very precise step motors controlling the silly rear ache. Is <laughs> 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 Yeah. We're so juvenile. Really important. Yeah, I know. Seriously. <laughs> I mean, these are... Ser- this is a serious instrument here, <laughs> <laughs> and I can't even like keep a straight face. It's like <laughs> so, so you can't weird. even pronounce the guy's name. I, yeah, I can't. Skujegorz. Bzienchistikevich. <laughs> yeah, not not even trying that one. <laughs> I had okay. to ask my roommate how to pronounce it. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> do you have a Polish roommate? I know you. He's like... Russian, so he, he oh, can okay. pronounce. Yeah, he knew yeah. how to pronounce that, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know you moved and all, so you have like new roommates. Yeah. But, yeah. but yeah, I have a Russian know. roommate who taught me how to pronounce Grzegorz Brzezinskiewicz. <laughs> and he says I say it with such an obvious American accent. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Um, moving on. Uh, in, in 1995, NASA launched the first space based pyroviral hydrosonometer which could be used to perform stellar pyroviral hydrosonography. So not just the sun, just like yeah, like all stars. stars. Like, yeah, all the stars yeah. out there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's currently planned a space pyroviral hydrosonometer called, and this is going to be another name, it's going to be hard to, to pronounce here, but the Gilsbert... Alan Stansman Shiredale Schmidt Connor Stovorsky Space Pyro Hydros <laughs> Pyroviral Hydrosonometer. Let me see if I can help you. <laughs> the Gilsbert, I, got, I think I got it. Gilsbert. Alan Stansman Shiredale Schmidt Connor Stovendorsky. Okay. Space Pyroviral Hydrosonometer. Right. Right. Or as it's more commonly known as GASP. <gasps> right. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. So that's scheduled for launch in 2023 if the uh, funding holds out, which isn't always yeah, hold if, out. But if Donald Trump doesn't gouge NASA's budget. Right. right. It's, it's, not, uh, it's not nearly as big a deal as the James Webb Space Telescope. So. Right. It's, it's not as well known. Yeah. Like people like in the, the general, per, you know, people – general people <laughs> the common man doesn't know <laughs> as much about pyroviral hydrosonography and well the common man doesn't even know what the james webb space telescope is that's true that's true yeah but uh you know we've already put a lot of money into it so um hopefully we'll be able to complete it right, right it's like i'm going to talk about it a little in uh in the science section but it's like it's a lot better than our current machines Right. Well, that's all I have for the science section is a little short, but uh, that gives you a lot more time to talk about the science, which I think is uh, it's pretty important on this one. Yeah. 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 So um, we're going to take a quick break. And if you're on YouTube, you can see us in our next video. 
the science of pyrovirohydrosonography. hydrosonography. Um, or if you're listening to the podcast, you'll just listen right on through. So we will be right back. Encyclopedia Podcastica is a production of the Silicon Valley Skeptics, an organization dedicated to promoting science and critical thinking. You can find us on Twitter at SB Skeptics or Facebook at facebook.com slash SB Skeptics. You can contact us at svskeptics at gmail.com. If you like the show, please rate us on iTunes.